Lesson objectives are to explain why farmers are removing hedgerows and the benefits to them and also about the environmental impact of removing hedgerows. The group is a mixed ability year seven group uh, weighted around the, the middle of that ability with um, one or two very able pupils and one or two much weaker pupils. Okay, right, what we're going to do today then is we've done a little bit of work on how the farming landscape has changed from about 1950 up till the present day. And we've looked at some of the impacts that have come from those changes. So what we're going to do today is we're going to build on that a little bit further. Now, so we've talked a bit about hedgerow removal, about farmers moving their hedges. So I want you to have a quick look at these two photographs here what clues do they tell you about what we already know about why people want to cut down hedgerows? Why do farmers want to cut down these hedgerows? Now, I want you very quickly to quickly discuss it as a group and write it down on your whiteboards very quickly. One or two reasons why farmers want to remove their hedgerows. You've got 30 seconds. Right, come on then, folks. What do we reckon? What are those photos? What clues are they giving us? Um, Pardon? Right, bigger fields. And go on, explain that a bit further. Right, so we've, what we've got is we've got Clara saying that we want bigger fields. Callum saying... More crops. Yeah, more crops. For more... Income. 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 So that's a really good, really good answer. Okay. Right, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and fantastic. Right. Let's have a look. Then what have you got? Hold it in so we can all see them. Sit, hold them up. Right, fantastic. Brilliant. Okay, Catherine, can you explain one of your points then? Um, we did that work because you have to keep chopping down the Right, okay, so less work because they have, they have to keep yeah, chopping them down, keeping them neat. Jo? Um, we put, because if you have hedges around all your field, you sort of lose the amount that the hedge will grow, so you sort of gain an extra foot of land around the outside of your field to grow crops in. So you have more land in which to grow more crops. Fantastic. I'm, th I'm looking at number one, thinking this one's we've talked about quite a lot. Alanis, can you explain number one then? Um, big machines can't turn around and it wastes a lot of time. So if they cut down a lot of hedge rows, then don't have to turn around as easy as fast and it's a lot easier. So much easier, l much more time, you know, less yeah. time consuming because the, the tracks are going right down the fields and back up again. Fantastic. Right, brilliant. Good start. So we've got a couple of reasons there already. So what we're looking to do today is we're going to look in a bit more detail at a few more reasons to explain why the farmers, what benefit is it to the farmers to remove these hedges, and then also to explain some of the problems of removing hedges on the landscape, on the environment. So we're looking at kind of two different sides of the argument. Now, first of all, what I'm going to ask you to do is you're going to be the farmer, first of all. So you're going to work in your threes to be the farmer. You're going to be geography detectives. You need to use the clues in your folders to come up with um, some of the reasons why this farm, this is some resources from Manor Farm, why, they want, why the owners want to remove the hedgerows. And what you're going to have to do is once you've decided all these clues, what do they tell us about why the farmers are removing the hedgerows, then you're going to have to submit a removal notice. So if I have a quick look in here, I can see on the top is this hedgerow removal notice here. Okay, and this is what real farmers have to submit. And then the council have to come out and check their hedgerow to make sure it's not a habitat for really rare species. Or if it's really old, they don't want to cut it down because it's sort of, val it's of historical value. So they have to fill out one of these. And you are going to write underneath number two, it says the reasons why you propose to move them are. 
and you're going to have to write as many reasons in five minutes as you can think of, out from your heads, from your prior understanding, and from the clues from the pack. Okay, as many reasons as you can think of. Fiona, can you recap that really quickly for me? Okay, um, we have, to, well, we're detectors, and we've got to, to, uh, to find out why Manor Farm wants to get rid of their hedge, hedgerows, and then we've got to um, write a... Oh, removal. Removal notice to the government and write down many things why we need to remove them. Fantastic. Right, you've got five minutes, folks. Very speedily. Off you go. Ooh. In fact, you're going to have eight minutes. So I'm going to be a little bit more, um, more generous. Yes, together, right? So have a look. Come on, open up your packs. You've got three clues. So you could divide them up, maybe, and then share what you found. Or you could all have a look. So what are these clues telling you, do you think? Go on, then. It needs bigger fields. So you need bigger fields to produce more crops. Right, that's a reason, isn't it? That's one that you know already. Under there. That's one that you know already. So have a look at what the clues, what extra information do they tell you? What's the Callum, the calendar show us Callum? Um, what are all the things highlighted? Think um, about that. Is it what to do on those days? Things? Is it check hedges and fences. Right. Is, it, is that like the thing that he's doing tonight? Yeah, so that's all the things that he's doing throughout the year, isn't it? So how, yeah, how much, how often, and how much time does he spend on his hedges from that looking at the calendar? I don't know. Look, we've got we've got a balance sheet here as well. So that might tell you how much money so is spent on. Isn't that not? So is it a hundred thousand? There, look, it's that one. It's only ninety, isn't it? Ninety thousand. Ninety thousand pounds on cutting hedge. Right. So it's really expensive. That's another reason, isn't it? So if you can work out the other ones, Clara, why don't you have a look through that one? See if you can figure out some reasons why that. Why Manor Farm? Why are they cutting down their hedgerows? Right. Get that down. Tell Alex to get it down. No, that's all right. Don't worry about that. Number two. Right. So what reasons have we got here, folks? What clues have we got? Amelia, have you read through that one? Why don't you have a go at that one? Mike, what clues have we got here? Um. So this, yeah, the, exactly. These are all the costs that the farm has to pay for. And how much do they spend on cutting down hedges and trimming them and keeping them all neat and tidy? Is that a lot of money to you? Yeah, ninety thousand pounds. And it, so if they got rid of them all, then they wouldn't have to keep on cutting them down. Brilliant. So they'd so save. So actually saving ninety thousand pounds. Tell, tell, so, tell so, Alistair that then. So if they get rid of them, how are you getting on with your clues then, folks? Then well, we think that it could be because looking at that, it's going to save them money, so they can like, buy more machinery and more crops. Brilliant. They have like, a lot better of machinery. Be a time they need to yeah, do something time. else, yeah. So, they, yeah, be much less time yeah. consuming. And how about that you've got more time to like do the crops, right? Because you won't have to like cut all the hedge and, like, Brilliant. Have oh, you got these down? Tell because these are brilliant points you're telling me. Tell Chris because he's got to write these down. Come on, Dan. Um, you said that more profit comes in, but then you have to spend more on seeds. Okay, that is fair point. Yeah, which don't is, want to say bad ideas. But which is, the, which is most expensive? Oh, we need to work that out. Oh, um, the income. So what is, you, you're saying that if you cut down the hedges, you'll save money, but you have to buy more seeds. But would you save, save money. more money than you had to spend out on seeds? Yeah, you'd save quite a lot more money because <laughs> seeds only cost 20000 but you're getting a total cost of 340000 yeah. But then once you've sold all that, you get a total income of 700000 so, as well. So right. It's quite good. Yeah, and so far we've got Brilliant. bigger machines, bigger fields, 
less work, more money, more crops, no rare animals, won't destroy crops, machines don't lose as much fuel, bigger profit and less time wasted. Fantastic. How about... They would need more machines, so wouldn't they? Might do. Might how long If you've got a tight work schedule, then maybe you would. Yeah. If not, then... But I mean, it would yeah. depend, uh, you know, how Loads by removing a hedge, it might not actually need that much more machines. It would just make it easier for one machine. Yeah. Do you think? Well, no diseases. They could just take down like a part of the hedge yeah. for the machine to go in easier for the other field. No diseases right. that can get on the crops. Yeah. What do they do to the crops then? It said, it said that um, the hedgerows have um, can have germs in them, so you could put. No diseases that will go on crops, and so you don't need to use as many fertilisers. Brilliant. Okay, fantastic. Well done. I think you're you're doing really well here, folks. Well done. Um, can you put stuff like if you were gonna like change the crop? If um no, can you put if you remove your hedge, you can put like you're willing to plant some trees somewhere else. Could or do. Can we not put that? Does the farmer care? If he, if, he, if he said that he can cut down his hedge, why would he want to put some trees somewhere else? Take up more room again, wouldn't it? So he yeah, can't plant his crops. Yeah, but I mean, crops. like, plant them in the wild. That's a possibility, yeah. That might be something that he would negotiate. Just because, like, <coughs> he's saying all these reasons against doing it, but he hasn't really got any strong points that say you should... Right, OK, and so... I will help nature by uh, doing right. it. So he's not making his argument stronger by actually saying a positive stuff for someone else, that he'll do something for someone else. That's a good point, yeah. So I would focus at the moment, because we're going to come on to that next lesson, okay. focus at the moment about why he just wants to take them out. OK. All right? So we don't, so we don't have to put, like... I wouldn't worry now, but that's a really good point to hang on to for next lesson because we're going to start writing some persuasive letters. Well done, Joe. Right, we've got two minutes, folks. Seen some really fantastic discussion. Yeah. Um, we've, we've put our costs on it. We've put our tips up time and it causes problems and expresses. What, what problems? You say it causes problems. Can you give some examples? As in disease. Right. There, what kinds of diseases? Exact oak death, possibly, it harbours these diseases. Yeah, instead they can just do a bigger lap. Oh, you forgot the one where the, uh, all the animals yeah. do a bigger lap. Yeah, this is the deers and rodents. Cutting and down birds, animals' they, houses. They eat the crops. They do, yeah, exactly. So that's a really good point. Have you got that one down? Yeah. Insects kill crops. Oh, right. And not just the insects, also mammals, animals. Deers. Yeah, I mean, they, they trample the crops, they eat the crops. Okay, well done. All right. Say it again, Lannis. We're not sure whether we've got more money. We've got, like, things like... Let me come around there a minute. <laughs> that one, less chance of crops being killed by... Yeah, because the hedges, like, ha they harbour diseases. They have diseases in them, and then that gets into the crops. So by taking away the hedges, you're sort of removing the, the source of the, of the disease. So the root of the disease. Yeah, the root of the disease. Brilliant. OK, you've got about 30 seconds, folks. Right. I know. Right, OK. Going to cut you a bit short. Can we clap after three? Three, two, one. Fantastic. I've seen some amazing discussion, but I'm going to test you a little bit now. I've seen loads of good points, but I'm still not convinced that you are quite as clever as I am. And I'm going to test you to see if you can beat me. So I've come up with five, I think it's five, or it might be six. How clever am I? Six. I've come up with six points that I think maybe you can't get, or that I, I'm not sure whether you're going to get all of them. Because six, that's quite a few. So I want you to challenge me to see whether you can work out my six. Do you think you can beat me? Do you think you can beat me, the teacher? Because I'm clever. Dan, you reckon you're cleverer than me, do you? Right, start us off then. Go on, one of those points. So why are farmers removing hedges? One point. Um, so the machines can, like, turn around easier. And because if they do that, they're going to have to keep on going from field to field if they've got a smaller field, so they might as well make it bigger. 
Right, okay, well, I think I might have that one then. Let me have a look to see if I've got that one. I've got... There we are. Right, hedges make the edges and corners feel difficult to farm. Fantastic, well, five to go then, but I still think I'm going to beat you. Rhiannon? Um, the um, hedges have some... can have diseases in them which can harm the crops, and um, the, the insects that live in them attract... Um, deer and birds, which can also damage the crops. Right, well, unfortunately, I think you probably got one of those as well. Let's have a look. Home to insects and animals who may eat and damage the crops. Feeling a little bit sheepish now. I've only got four left. To Lannis. Um, well, there's like weeds that can grow in the hedges, and by removing the hedges, it can stop the weeds moving to the crops and damaging the crops. Down to three. Well done. Feeling a bit nervous now, Alistair. Um, pesticides in the hedgerows can pollute river, rivers. I'm going to feel very sheepish now because I didn't even get that one. I, feel, I think you should give me an orange slip. Very, very, very upset that you've managed to beat me on that one. Liam. Um, it costs 90000 a year to trim crops. Right, so it costs lots of money to trim the crops. Let me see if I've got that one. Is it this one? This one? Got that one. I've got, I've got two left, though. So even though you got one I didn't have, I've still got two chances. Jodie? It takes up a lot of... Well, it takes up a lot of time. It takes up a lot of time? To do yeah. what to the hedgerows? Um, to cut them. To keep them trimmed down and yeah. maintained. Right, well, yeah, I think, I think you, you are really starting to beat me now. I've got one left. My only hope left now. Chris? Um, um, the, the hedges... Encourage like destructive animals that might trample and just destroy them. You're right, but I think we've got that one. So I still I think I'm on a winning streak still. Dan. Um, bigger profit will come in. Bigger profit because it's very expensive. But I've already got that one. I'm afraid. Still got one more. Sam. Sam's going to beat me. I was going to say that the turning of large machines would be easier in larger fields, but I've just realised we already had it. Yeah, I think we've got that one. Rhiannon, can you get my last one? Um, there's more space to put crops. Mm, I think that one comes under this one, or maybe another one. I've got one more. Fiona? Uh, you need less workers. Mm, so. well, it's still less, about price, expensive. Mm, i still got one. I think I'm going to beat you in a minute. No way. Alistair? Um, is it... Um, there's, there's some diseased plants in the hedgerows. Disease plants which could damage them. Almost. I've put... Oh, no, look. I was wrong. I've got take up valuable land, which someone got. So you have beat me. And I just... I couldn't remember which statements I put up. But I put up six, which you found. Brilliant. Well done. I'm really impressed. Right. The next part... The next part of the lesson, we've done being the farmer. We've got to take the other other end of the stick now. We've got to put on our conservationist hat and be the conservationist. What's a conservationist, Jo? Um, aren't they the people that look after the land and they work for the government and say whether you can and can't do stuff? Yeah, sort of. So people that sort of look after the land and say, you know, whether this is, can be good for it or bad. Alex, you want to add something? Don't they, like, protect some, like, types of um, animals and trees? Yeah, yeah, they, they do. They sort of protect the landscape. Yeah, OK. But, sorry, folks, but I think we've got the gist of it now, but well done. OK, so it's kind of people that look after the landscape. So why do the conservationists want to keep the hedgerows then? So what you're going to do now is, on your, um, your name tags, you've got a number. And you're going to go to the numbered station. The pink ones are the ones... So if you're a one, you're going to go to one of the pink stations. If you're a two, you're going to go to a red station. And if you're a three, you're going to go to a green station. And when you get there, you are going to have to complete a little task. And it says on the task sheet what you have to do when you get there. Now, I'm only going to give you about five minutes to go and do this. You might have to work together, share your answers. Wait a minute before you go. Catherine's got a question. Are there more than one, like, of each one? There are more. There's two of each one. So and on the front of your folder, it says which to go to, whether A or B. So if you're a one, and it says on your folder, if you're a one, go to station 1A on the front of your folder. It doesn't matter too much. It's just to spread you out. Right, you've got five minutes. <laughs> Right.
Right, where are you going then, Callum? Green, there's one here, look. Right, so you've got to read three what it says. Yeah. Are you a three, Dan? A three B. You're a three B. That's, that's all right then. Here we go. So what does it tell you have to do? What Callum, where are you going? I mean I, I was I was a three. A three? So you can go there then with those boys. Alright, Mike? Where do I go? You know what you're doing? Yeah. 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 You've all got to fill out a sheet, so you better yes. you really need to have like a pen with yeah, we you. Need one off that. Right, alright. Um, am I going to get my pen, Chris? Of course you can, yeah. Thank you. Alright. It's a pen. Is that everyone got a pen? Here's a pen. Alright. Got a pen? Alright, is it playing? Yeah. Right, off you go then. Well done. How are we getting on over here? Okay. Yeah? Oh, let me move that one then. I can. can you get me one quick? Yeah. All right, so what have you got to do? You're thinking um, about. We've got to read the newspaper article. Yeah. And have a look at the two pictures. Right. And then um, answer the questions and to help explain why removing papers can cause problems. Right, okay, go on then. See if you can work those out. You might have to work together a bit and share your answers. A bit of teamwork. You all right? Yeah, there's what two different yeah. ones. Yeah, they're both the same, both the same article though, yeah? So, what plant in the, head, in the hedgerow is important? What plant is important in the hedgerow? What have you written down? Because you've already written it down. Hazel. And what's, why is hazel important? Um, why is hazel important then, Charlie? Um, sorry. Well done. Go and sit back down then, because we'll, they'll be with you in about two minutes, Dan. Hedges. Well, yeah, hazel, hazel is a very important plant in the hedgerow, but it's important for a reason. And I think, Jodie, you've nearly already written down that reason. Well, it's for the animals. It's for dormice, hedgehogs, right. and something else, but I can't find the other. Something else? Oh, right, okay. Well, we've got dormice, hedgehogs, and. Well, I've got different ones Voles, right, okay. What plant? Yes, what, could you have, what, what plant in the hedgerow is important? I think you've got your uh, that one should be there. Look, Charlie. And that one should be there. Yeah, and you know you got to see what the national grid are planning to build. Jodie, can you help Charlie out? Can Kay. you find the bit that? Um, yeah, if you've got your information, if you've got your information, go back to your groups, and they're going to join you in about two minutes. That's all you've got, folks. Is that right? Yeah. Good. Fantastic. Miss, there wasn't yeah. enough sheets of these with Nick. I weren't there. I'll go and grab one from. Can I get through, please, yeah, yeah. Callum? Yeah. Is there a spare one? Yeah. We'll wait for your group to come back a, a minute, Jodie. They'll be back in like a minute. Right, we've got about a minute. Right. Well done, Mike. Fantastic. Well done, Lannis. Have you got it all? Alex, go and sit back down then. Have you got it all now? Um, I do. What is it, Dan? What haven't you got? It's not 68,000 pounds. It's all nature. All nature. I don't know. Right, go on then. Off you go. Folks, if you don't, you've got about 30 seconds. Have you got it all? Yeah. yeah. Well done. Right, turn, can you... Turn Alan it off Ma then, Nat, Sam. Alan Laz in. That's it. Alan will people move around so what other people use? No, we're going to share now, so all right? Can I write it up in Nick? You, well, you won't need it in Nick because we're going to write it up in... We're going to share our information and write it up anyway, Joe. So you don't, okay. don't need to worry about that today. Right. How are you getting along? Nature reserves? All right. Can I stop that one now, Dan? I should get the answer off, Jones. Well, but, I mean, that's team working, isn't it, to share your answers? You've done well, though, to get all those. Well done. Okay, ten...
Nine. Oh, sorry, Joe. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. You all right there, Nick? Yeah? Well done. Right. Fantastic. Right. So each person has gone and got as part of this argument about what the conservationists think about removing hedgerows. OK, part of the argument. So what you're going to have to do now is you are going to have to bring all that information together. So using research from all three members of your groups, you need to write um, not a persuasive letter. We're not going to do that. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to do a spider diagram or mind map of all the inf different information that you've managed to research about why, why conservationists are concerned about hedgerows being removed. So perhaps in the middle of your mind map, you could put conservationist point of view. I'll put conservationist on the board if you need it. It is up there, but you might not be able to see it. Okay, And then a big spider diagram of all that information that you've managed to gather about why conservationists are worried about cutting down the hedgerows. So it's a bit of research and discussion now that will then lead us into next lesson when we're actually going to rewriting a persuasive letter. So you're going to need to know all of that information along with your, your group members. Jo? Um, the pens the there should be marker pens in the folder, so you can all have a marker pen. But maybe you want, just want one scribe. It's up to you how you're going to work on this in a group. Are you going to have one scribe, or are you going to all try and work on it together? You've got... Ten minutes. Right, conservationist point of view. Conservationist point of view. So you're bringing together all of your different bits of information. So what, what's your argument? What, what did you find out that's an argument for the conservationists to say, farmers, stop cutting down your hedgerows? Oh, I know. Be careful about writing upside down now, um, Alex. A little bit, not too much. Write on a slant, it'll be all right. Um, what did you find out that proves that, that it's bad for the environment? They're using all the machines on the, um, getting rid of um, homes for the um, animals, the door mice. Yeah. And what is it in the hedgerow that's the, the hazel? So they're getting rid of the hazel that's an important habitat for hedgehogs, door mice. Brilliant. So Callum's, that's his sort of contribution to this argument. Conservation, is that R V or R R? Yeah, V. That's it. So what did you find out, Joe, that supports the conservationist point of view about removing hedgerows? Um, Why might he not want them removed? That, um, 200,000 miles of hedgerow was lost in England. Right. Has been lost since 1947. Right. And what, what's, in, what's significant about that, though? Why, why is that not a um, good thing? Hedges occupy more land than all of the nature reserves in England. Right. And what is it like about the hedgerows that makes them so special that, that removing them and that amount of hedgerows is um, such a problem? 15% of hedges contain 15% of broadleaf trees, 600 species of flower and plant, 1,500 species of insects, 65 species of bird and 20 species of mammal. Right, so if we're cutting down the hedgerows and that amount, we're going to start to lose some of these species in some parts of our country. So that's your argument. So you're twisting the information around to try oh, and, and get to like, his point of view. Do we have to write it out in sentences or notes? No, just note form, bullet point, spider, diagram. Yeah, just be sharing the information and perhaps trying to put a few bits together. So you might say that it contains 15% of broadleaf trees, such as hazel, which is important habitat for voles and dormice. So maybe you know, try to make links between the information, okay? Okay. All right. So have, what, have you got a scribe going on here, have you? Yeah. So Rihanna is going to be the, the scribe. And what have you shared then, Sam? Um, I've shared 
So the important habitat for these species, and if we cut down the hedgerows, we're gonna we're gonna start to lose those. Okay, fantastic. Right, keep contributing then. Yeah. Or perhaps why you could write something on the board to give to Rand to copy down, and then you could try and share your information. Yeah. Yeah. And try because you've only got seven more minutes now to try and get all of this down. There's quite a lot that you've collected here. Okay. So you're bringing in a bit of background information as well then? Um, why, how would I put that they're like planning to build a massive like 40,000 pounds of the pipe bone, I think it was. You could put that as an example, couldn't you? So you could put like, for example, they're going to build a big pipeline that's going to get rid of hedgerows with hazel in, which is a habitat for these animals. Yeah? Right, Mike. Then, come on. What have you What have you found out about this argument? Why might the conservationists? Uh, it will endanger like dogs, etc. Uh, it will stop growing. Right. Okay. And why is Why is the hazel important? Because that's where dormice and hedgehogs live. Right. So that's where that's their habitat, isn't it? And what have we got over here then, Alistair? Right, okay. Yeah. And what have you got then, Mina? What are you contributing? What's your because you've all got a slightly different bit of research. Yeah. Um I've got the head just stopped the wind from blowing the boxes. Right. How do they stop the um, they blind the soil together. Right, yeah, they kind of bind it together and they just provide a barrier, don't they, to the wind. Fantastic. Well done. Right, how are we getting on then? We've got quite a... Right. Yes, Dan? Well, no, the idea is that you kind of try and share the information and try to link it together. So if you just stick that on, it's just a bit of information on its own, isn't why, it? Why is it only in hedgehogs, wolves and dormice that are attracted to hazel? Yeah, why? Yeah. Perhaps it isn't. Like perhaps it, or yeah, perhaps it isn't just them. Perhaps they, it's, they're, they're just the main animals. It said on that sheet over there yeah. um, dormice are getting attacked by the hedge trimming of it. Yeah. Are voles, voles, aren't they those ones with their huge eyes and their really yeah. tiny? They've got pointy oh, yeah, noses, like haven't they? Yeah, like, and um, what are those? Um, there's another thing, like a ferret in there. Or is that a problem? The ferrets aren't wild. No, no, ferrets are quite... Yeah, but it's like well, they can be wild, but they're quite sort of long. They're like long guinea pigs. Jack Russell's hunt them. Do they? Yeah. And so how could you link them into this, then? Um, well, if they don't have the hedges, the Jack Russells can, um, the Jack Russells can catch them. But they, yeah, if they have but the hedges, they can hide. Right, so, yeah, so it's an imp perhaps important it, um, defence. Yeah, defence. Yeah, yeah, important it's, it's for defence. It could be important. bad for the animals as well, because if the like, Jack Russell goes in there, they could get the attacked, or then they could get a disease from the bush. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, it's, yeah. so it's, bad it's better to take them down, because then they can catch them more easily. Right, OK. But surely, if you took them down, it could be better in a way, because you yeah. have all those... Um, you're not using all those like fuels if because you're not using as much fuels because you're having to go around it. Yeah, so it yeah, be yeah. Well, what I like is that you're really reasoning this now and saying, well, it could be this, it could be that. Yeah, no, but that's brilliant because you're really using your information. If it, this keeps on carrying on, like and the there hedges, won't be any hedges. Yeah, there won't be no hedges. Yeah. Yeah. Left, there'll just be one massive. Just be fences yeah. or just one yeah, like massive metal big field. It would just be horrible. The whole world. Would be so like it's is attractive value as well then. What we call aesthetic value it looks attractive yeah, yeah well, it so can it's, do. it's not just environmental is it it's it about is, it's so what did you say yeah, well it's called aesthetic how do you spell that now you're going to test me i think it's a e a e yeah s t h t i c
it's like a sign and aesthetic, e, aesthetic value. value. So it's attractive. Because otherwise you've just got all these horrible brown yeah. fields. <laughs> yeah. Well done, folks. A pipeline. Yeah, you know, like the gas flows in or water pipeline. So a, a pipe underground. Big pipe underground. Does that mean that the pipes, they'll dig up all the hedges? Yeah, they're going to dig up the hedges to lay the pipe in the ground. Will they be part of the hedges? No, they're just going to put the soil back on the top. All right, Alanis? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, fantastic. Right, Anna, we're going to stop a minute now. Fantastic. Brilliant. Well done. Can I get through, Alex? Okay, you've got 10 seconds just to finish off. Fantastic. Very exciting. Brilliant. Five. Four, three, two, and quiet them, please. Brilliant. I have seen some really, really good reasoning, some good discussion skills, some fantastic collaboration where you're sharing with each other um, and telling each other what you found out, which is brilliant. I've seen some different strategies. We've got down here, we've got everyone's trying to contribute. And then back there, we had some kind of systematic approach going on. We had Rhiannon was the scribe, and the others were telling her what to write and how it linked in. So really interesting to see the different approaches you're using. Fantastic. Right, does anyone want to share perhaps the, the impact that they think is, is the, the, the most worrying impact? Dan, what do you think was the most worrying impact? Um, that, well, if they keep on removing the hedges, um, what's going to happen is it's just going to be fences and just a massive long field, and it's just going to all go. Right, and what do we call that? Because we gave a name to that. Oh, aesthetic, aesthetic value. value. Aesthetic value, so how attractive it is. Absolutely right. Joe, what's the most important um, impact, do you think? I think it's the National Grid planning to build the pipeline because they're just going to dig up all the hedges, lay down these masses of pipes, and then um, just put soil back on top and not bother planting the hedges right. or planting new ones. OK, OK, fantastic. And that's going to have a knock-on effect, isn't it? Caroline, can you then give me one of the impacts that taking up all those hedges is going to have, an, an impact, environmental impact? Um, they contain 50% of our broadleaf trees. And... Um, in the world, and um, people are cutting down trees, and they um, can global warming is wrecking our atmosphere, and they can help restore it. Right, fantastic. Right, what I want you to do with all that information is we're going to use it next lesson, but just quickly so we can recap it. In a group, I want you to decide: is your group agreeing that? Hedgerows must be removed by farmers. Is that a really good thing? Do the benefits outweigh the problems? Or is your group completely disagreeing? Is it a conservationist group? So on your boards, can you put a number 1 to 10, whether you agree or disagree with that statement? What do you think is a group then? Are you for the farmers? Three to five. So you're so you're undecided that there's benefits, but there's also problems. Okay. Four. Okay. Fair enough. Right. You're, what are you going to go for then, folks? Four. They want to do four. Why do they want to do four? She thinks we should do three because we like disagree a bit. But me and Chris think that they should cut them down, but they but shouldn't. Cause, in a way, because it, it's going to like you know, they want to put it down to get bigger fields, ruin stuff. So. Yeah. But then they'll just but if you cut completely down, then you destroy it. It's going to be a, and, a problem. And, be, and it could even make some more species go extinct. Right. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay, right. Can you hold out your boards then, please? Hold up your boards. Let's have a look. What do you think? Go. Oh, we've got a real range here of different opinions. Wow. Right. Let's have a look then. So this group down here, you've got one. So you couldn't, you couldn't disagree more that removal of hedgerows should be done. So you are going completely, we shouldn't do it at all. Can you explain your reasoning then, Callum? Because um, it's 
Bad Boy environment and we're going to use booms for all these creatures which have booms in the hedge booms, like 65 species of birds bird living in the hedge booms. So you're going for a wildlife point of view. OK, right, we've got something. Let's have a look at a different one. We've got a, a six here. Simi, can you explain our six? Because that's quite a bit the other way. So you're saying that, mm, yeah, farmers should, should be cutting down their hedgerows. Um, we think it should be six because some ways it is bad, but some ways it perfect. Right, fantastic. And just lastly, one in the middle then. Dan, have you got an opinion to give? Yeah, um, I think five, because like, um, it depends on the farming, because arable needs like the most fields, but for sheep, they're on high land, so it doesn't really matter, because they can move them around anywhere they want, so I think five. So, you know, on flat land, okay, yeah, they can, because it compensates by, on the hilly land, you can't do it anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Like just cut. Um, down the hedges because everyone else is. It's only for like arable farming, really. Right, so compensation weighing up. Yeah. Mm, we can cut some down here because we don't have to here. Yeah. Right, fantastic. Okay, can you do me a big favour then? All your stuff, can you leave that in a pile? Can you put the boards and pens and things back in the plastic wallet and everything else back in the folder, leaving your sugar paper and the folder on your desk? Right, just put it in the folder and just leave it, okay? That'll be fine. That's it, put everything back in the folder and then just leave it on the desk with the sugar paper. That's it, pop everything in the folder and leave it with the sugar paper then, all right? Put that in the folder, yeah, I would. All right, yeah, that's it. Well done, folks. Do you want to go and get your bag, Chris? I was pleased with how it went generally. thought there were a few little niggles that needed to be ironed out throughout the lesson. I thought they collaborated really well and they worked really hard to make links between the different bits of research they'd done to come to their conclusion.